This is Dragon Blogger here to talk about optimizing the SEO for your WordPress blog. Unless your blog theme has built in SEO options, you will want to download and install the all in one SEO pack for WordPress. To get the plugin, just click on your add new plugins from your WordPress dashboard, do a search for all in one SEO. And you'll see the all in one SEO pack and you want to click on install and install it. Activate the plugin after it's installed and after the plugin is activated you want to go to your sidebar and click on your all-in-one SEO settings. From here you want to choose to enable the plugin. You want to set what you want your home title to be for your blog. This will be the description uh, and the title tag that will display on Google and in the the source code when you view source for your blog. You want to set your home description tag. Again, this is your meta description tag and the keywords for your index page or your home page. So your index.php when somebody visits your home page, you want to set all your meta keywords and you would set them here. You want to choose as many keywords as possible related to your blog's theme, your blog topic, your blog interest, and you do want to find the best keywords to use to optimize your search results and you'll be using a Google AdWords tool, keyword ad, keywords tool, and I'll show you how to use that tool in a little bit. You also have additional options here such as rewriting titles and uh, getting a different format for your titles, pages, categories, etc. Uh, I don't leverage many of the options that I could. I just consider the basics, the description, the keywords, the home title. So I really don't have great information for you uh, to use any of these additional items. You could specifically exclude pages, uh, ex you know, add additional post headers and things like that. Um, you can find more information about the SEO, all in one SEO plugins by visiting the home page or the FAQ. But primarily, these are the three big options that I use for my blogs. Okay, so configuring the main three tabs is primarily for your index or your home page for your blog. But now when you write posts and you go on to your new post creation, you will see a new set of options at the bottom of your post, a new module called all in one SEO pack. So even though you title a blog post, let's say I was to write a blog post about Boston Terriers, which is a type of dog breed. I can title it, I can have the meta tag actually be different than the title. In most cases you wouldn't, you would use the same exact title uh, for the all-in-one SEO pack title as well. You put a description like talking about the Boston Terriers and how wonderful of a breed they are. Great. Okay, a uh, quick description of your blog. You want to keep character limit uh, characters to about 160 for ideal for search engines for your meta description. The thing is, when you write a description, putting it in the all one SEO pack is what will show up when you do a search on Google and you get that little blurb uh, underneath your blog post to show you uh, what your blog post is about. I'll show you an example. I'll open Google search and I'll search for um, shiny search. You'll see dragonblogger.com is my third entry down here, right here. And you'll see this right here where it says shiny search is a fast and easy way to have a custom looking homepage instead of a plain boring Google search homepage. That is the meta description that you define here in the all-in-one SEO pack. So what you define here in the all-in-one SEO pack is what shows up as your description when you do a Google search and you show up on the Google search listing. The title is what shows here as the title for your blog. WordPress itself, when you do a search on your blog or you have excerpts, it uses the excerpt to show a description. So you do need to make sure your excerpt is filled out as well as your description is filled out. Or when people do searches, it'll just take the first 50 words or whatever from your post and use that instead. I always like to make my excerpt and my description exactly the same. Uh, that way if somebody does a search or clicks on my archives and they see the um, just the samples of the posts, it'll show an excerpt instead of letting it use the default first 50 words of the post. So that's just one of my tactics. 
I can't tell you if that's a great or excellent tactic to use or if that's the best tactic. That is just what I've been doing. And from my own experience, 73% of my traffic comes from Google search results. I get over 10,000 unique visits a month from Google search. So I think I'm doing SEO pretty well for my own blog, being as, as small as it is. So this is just the information that I'm sharing with you. The next thing you're going to want to do is, let's say this was a, a post about Boston Terriers, the dog, as I mentioned. I'm not going to actually write a post in this video. I'm just going to get, show you how to keyword and how to SEO it. The next thing you want to do is keywords. In WordPress, you have post tags. Post tags are useful and they're helpful for when somebody does a search on your own blog, um, as well as showing you what tags are related. But post tags do not actually show up on Google searches. So if you were to put like Boston Terriers under post tags, it doesn't actually create a meta name keyword for Boston Terriers. You have to use all in one SEO pack to get a, to get the meta name keyword uh, tags to display. So one thing you want to do is find out what keywords you want to use for your blog post. To do this, I use the um, Google AdWords keywords tool. 